YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here, coming to you from Prague with uh, Consul of Rome and Helios. We're going to see an awesome Empire versus Warriors of Chaos. This is Prince and Emperor. And no, it's not Carl referring to himself when you select him on the campaign screen. This is Prince Sigvald and the Emperor, Carl Franz. And uh, for the Empire, we're going to have three units of great swords, a couple of halberds, spears on the flanks, silver bullets, in a third line, and they are flanked by a couple of archers. Now, Franz is carrying his Reichlin Runefang. Should give some nice extra attack stats. And then he's also got Galmaraz here, which is extra bonus versus large if needed. However, I really like the Army of Chaos. I'm going to slow down just a second, let you all catch it here. It's going to be six Marauder Horsemen. That is a massive number of horsemen for the Empire to deal with. And a fantastic way for Chaos to be able to continually harass flyers, cavalry, and missile units. So I think that's a great choice. We're going to have uh, multiple units of Chaos Marauders, uh, I think three or four of these, and then we're going to have three Forsaken up front, and then they are interwoven with some Chaos Spawn, which are just a really great damage-dealing unit that is unbreakable. And of course, as I mentioned, we have Prince Sigvald right here. He is going to be an excellent duelist. Not so good against characters like Franz, but obviously Chaos is probably banking on the Horsemen and the Spawn to help out against units like that. There is a fire sorcerer as well. So let's hit play. Let's see how this goes. Uh, the Empire does have a unit of Royal Altdorf Griffites and some Empire Knights. So there are two cavalry units, giving them some mobility. It's a little bit surprised not to see an initial cavalry charge by the Empire Knights into the Forsaken. Kind of helps soften them up a bit, but they must be looking uh, to get after some other targets. You see the Halberds kind of left in a second line, allowing the Great Swords to kind of take the brunt of this charge. And uh, Chaos is going to be dishing a lot of damage between the Forsaken and the Spawn. That is going to be huge damage output, um, regardless of whether the Great Swords are pretty well armored, which they are. Uh, they're going to get some support from Franz, and the Silver Bullets are firing in. They can fire over the heads of infantrymen to get shots on the Chaos Spawn, and it's really a quite a good use for them uh, in this particular instance. So I think the Silver Bullets, solid pick. You can see Franz got in here, routed the Forsaken. You cannot route the Chaos Spawn, you have to kill them. Then on the flanks, we're seeing quite a bit of pressure from the uh, Marauder Horsemen, though. Again, I'm a little surprised here not to see, you know, one of a couple of things. Maybe, like, two units of Marauder Horsemen kept back here. And then when Franz dives in like this, they pepper him with Javelins. And then two units down each flank, and then just kind of keep wrapping around and starting to put that pressure on the back of the Empire. But let's see whether or not it plays out that way. I know that uh, Marauder Horsemen are very good at just that very thing. They're, they're pretty bad in melee, but the fact that they're carrying the Javelins and they're fast makes them a real threat um, for uh, the Empire. They've got to deal with them. Empire Knights here end up getting surrounded. And they're going to get put down by Spawn and Marauders. There's a lot of Chaos Warriors in the battlefield. If we just take a look at the numbers here, um, it's actually relatively even, but the Empire you know, has a lot of... A lot of uh, model heavy units like silver bullets halberds spearmen nice dodge here the burning head the burning head actually did wipe out an archer unit um, earlier and uh, that's this unit over here so chaos has landed a really nice burning head to get rid of some of the um, get rid of some of the skirmishers look over here there is a big blob of chaos I don't believe it's available um, yeah there's no there is no um, area of effect spell for the Empire, but stuff like this, if you get the opportunity, is a great way to take a whole bunch of enemy units out of the fight. But, of course, the Chaos player did not leave those units there for terribly long. Um, but, you know, see them moving on. Aldorf Griffites are getting a lot of work done. They're kind of ping-ponging between targets. And then the Halberds were used as a secondary, and they're going to be really good at holding up Chaos here. They don't output a lot of damage, but they have pretty high defense stats. And as long as they don't lose their leadership, they're going to be a real pain in the butt for Chaos to clear out. Sigvald should be decent at it, but like I said, it will be a big pain in the butt. Some of the Chaos spawn are going to be killed here, though. Look at this. Nice nice job with the pressure. Got some Forsaken coming in. They're going to keep pressuring. You can see the, the Silver Bullets are going to be a very highly sought-after prize here for Chaos, as they should be. Um, this unit could be absolutely devastating um, if left in the hands of the Empire, and could be a critical win if killed by Chaos. I'm going to see those Forsaken just commit themselves to battle against Carl and his Jade Wizard and the Griffites, though. 
The uh, Griffites did get some healing earlier, and they are not being particularly easy to take out. <laughs> Trying to move out of the way of the Forsaken, the Silver Bullets now find themselves in the loving arms of some Marauders and even more of their crab-like brethren, the Forsaken, who are chasing them from the battlefield, and the Silver Bullets are going to need more than Silver Bullets to bail themselves out of that bad situation. So you can see him running away. Carl's going to give him a little help. Sigvald hoping to put some damage on Carl. He's not an armor-piercing unit, but he is a pretty solid duelist if he can stay in fight. But you can see that that's the trouble with Sigvald is it's very difficult for him to stay in the fight. The Altdorf Griffites are going to be used to try and bail the Silver Bullets out of this fight. You can see him getting a nice charge over here into some broader horsemen who are not ready to skirmish away. So that's going to be some valuable kills. And then you can see the Silver Bullets firing again over the heads of units and killing even more Marauder Horsemen out here. Another Burning Head quite nicely does a lot of damage on these Halberdiers for the Empire, and that's going to leave the Empire with less and less troops to support Carl and his Altdorf Griffites, which are pretty much some of the only units that he has left. You see Chaos here getting in a mop-up action against some great swords. And uh, the Silver Bullets have managed to continue to stay out of combat and pour some fire in from afar. It'll be very nice against these Chaos Spawn. Let you all get some up-close look at the Silver Bullets. Very cool unit here. One of my favorite regiments of Renown. Though there are some really nice ones in the game. I don't know about you all, but I am so hyped for Warhammer 3. Now that I've played Warhammer 3, I'm, I'm just dying. I'm like, oh man, now I have to wait. Wait and wait to get to play it again. But some of you may be saying, Air, at least you got to play it at all. <laughs> That's true. I'm grateful for it. It was really fun to play. That said, sometimes when you play something and it's good and you like it, then it makes the wait even harder. But we're all waiting, folks. But we'll get there. We'll get there. So it's going to be a pretty close fight. I mean, Chaos has a lot of troops left. The Empire does not. Um, the Empire, however, does have Karl Franz, <laughs> and Chaos does not. And what that really means, though, if I'm saying it in a little bit more um, in-depth sense here, is that um, Chaos doesn't really have a great answer to anti-large terror-causing monsters. Uh, they do have a few Marauder Horsemen. They'll want to use their Javelins. It's not going to be enough to take down Carl. Carl is going to get the occasional catch on said Javelins, and that is going to hurt uh, Chaos. You can see that there's not a whole lot of Javelins left in the picture the Javelins are not anti-large, but for a large target that doesn't have a shield, they're going to be pretty effective as they deal pretty solid damage at 37 missile damage, so it's really not bad. We're some Marauders that got singled out, and Chaos is going to want to avoid this if possible. However, grouping together and fighting is just as dangerous because both the Altdorf Griffites and Carl both have terror. And Sigvald won't have to too much worry about it, but the rest of these Chaos troops absolutely will. Chaos is fairly prone to terror, and always has been. So, like I said, something that they'll definitely have to take seriously. Look, a nice burning head here. Does do some pretty good damage to the Silver Bullets. A little bit of a dodge there by Consul of Rome, but Helios getting a really nice shot in. Sigvald is in near-perfect health because he's been healing this whole time. Took a bit of a shot right there from the Emperor on his way through. But he's going to get in and uh, try and attempt to kill a few more of these uh, Altdorf Griffites. Going to see them fleeing away. They're exhausted. And one of them's stuck in combat back here, shaken. They're about to lose, um, like, entirely. They're probably going to get routed and won't be able to come back. There still is a Chaos Sorcerer of Fire. Silver Bullets are still alive despite multiple rather good attempts, I think, by Chaos to get rid of them. They are firing right now at a unit of Forsaken, which is unshielded. And though their crab-like armor may be strong, well, I guess just in appearance, um, it's not going to do them much good up against the Silver Bullets. Silver Bullets are pouring searing lead on them, kind of like hot butter mixed with garlic. Goes along very nice with some Forsaken. <laughs> Very nice with them. Oh man, here we go with the Warhammer food references again. So, really excellent fight here between these two players. I like what the Empire is doing here. This is a little strategy that I use a lot in campaign. It's easier against the AI than it is players, but it's working here. Uh, which is you're singling out individual units and knocking them off the battlefield to the best of your ability uh, before the enemy can bring all of their forces to bear. 
another burning head over here. Got rid of some archers. This Chaos is looking to mop up some of the remnants. And the Silver Bullet's not a lot of ammo left, but they're going to use it on Sigvald. Now, Sigvald does have a pretty excellent shield. He heals, but I think they're hoping that any damage they do to him means fewer hit points that he has to heal off in his fight against Karl. Now, Sigvald did turn around here. Walk away, you can see that uh, his white cape, an excellent target, he's now reached his healing cap. And so whatever the Silver Bullets hit him with now, it's going to be rough. Like I said, they are near out of ammo. They've only got one volley left. But, I mean, if, if I'm having to take bets, I'm always betting on the single entity monster with terror. You never know, but that's where my bets go at this point because they tend to be very powerful. I'm going to fast forward here. Another nice burning head here from Chaos. It wasn't dodged by Consul of Rome. To be fair, the Silver Bullets were out of ammo and were probably, you know, not going to be a stellar unit in combat. We'll see whether or not we think it makes a big difference in the end. This is going to be a fairly tight finish. There are some halberds coming back in for the Empire. They could be quite useful here at just adding fodder to the Empire. And speaking of fodder, Silver Bullets are now going to take their charge against some Chaos Marauders, and the Marauders are going to ax them a few questions before they ax them to leave the battlefield. That's right, folks. Flame jokes are still a thing. It's because it's 2021. Doesn't mean you're getting out of it. This is an air commentary. Anyway, here we are. Battle nearing its end. Sigvald is going to run out of support units. This is going to be rough. He has a single Chaos spawn. whom He's named Mr. Pustules. Sigvald really loves to pet Mr. Pustules. I think it kind of makes him feel like Dr. Pimple Popper or something. But here they are, roaming around together, master and pet, attempting to finish this battle against the Empire. Though it is not looking good see the Jade Wizard unceremoniously escorting these Chaos Marauders off of the battlefield, leaving Sigvald and his 57 hit point grotesque pet left to stand against the might of the Emperor, who did sustain quite a lot of damage, I might add, so Chaos doing some pretty excellent work, all things considered. This is going to be a difficult fight for them to finish, despite being an excellent duelist and having very good melee defense, flying units are going to get an automatic charge on a unit that's on the ground because a unit on the ground cannot counter charge what's coming at them so it does give them quite a distinct advantage uh, especially if that unit gets engaged and uh, is able to be fixed for a while by another I think it just really adds to that um, and you got a Jade Wizard here who could do just that thing draw the attention of these units giving Carl the best possible charge he is going to um, knock down Mr. Pustules, only taking away seven hit points though, so Carl, a very dainty touch on that charge, but the Jade Wizard comes in and it kills Mr. Pustules, leaving Sigvald all by his lonesome, and it isn't looking good, despite being the champion of Slanish, quite handsome and well clothed, he isn't able to pull off the victory, so... Sigvald dies to the Emperor. So in the Battle of Prince and Emperor, the winner goes to Emperor in this case. Appreciate Consul of Rome sending this in. I have more online battles. I am quite behind on making these because I was just so enthralled with making the Carthage campaign in Rome Total War Remastered, which many of you enjoyed and I enjoyed making. Uh, but if you're like, Eric, what happened to some of the Warhammer videos? Well, I was a little behind, but here they are. Here's some Warhammer action. And like I said, appreciate Console Rome. He's always given me some great replays. I will be playing some multiplayer in Warhammer 2 this coming Tuesday. Um, I believe that is the 24th? No, 25th? One of the two. Whatever Tuesday is. You all can look it up. 8 p.m. U.S. Central. I will be doing some Warhammer 2 online battles with viewers. So feel free to join me. That'll be a live stream. Uh, let's take a look at some of the value here. Um, Carl Franz coming in pretty solid there at 2706. Um, some pretty good value, and then the Altdorf Griffites at 2,000 in terms of their value, and then 2,485 for the Silver Bullets, which is really nice um, considering their price. That was some very nice performance, but look at Sigvald here, 3,492. So Carl may have won the battle. Sigvald came in with an epic performance here. 3,492 value on a Lord on Foot is very nice, and uh, Helios did an excellent job getting some value out of that. Shaman Sorcerer on Foot, no horse. Just a couple spells. I think this is a great value out of that too at 11.06. So pretty well done. Some of these were Marauder Horse Masters, so they are a little better in melee. This one picked up some very nice value too at 12.55. 
It doesn't take much for a standard uh, Marauder Horseman to get some value. Take a look at the spawn. Not not bad, nothing spectacular, but again, spawn are just mostly a damage unit. I don't know how they always pan out in terms of value. Hope you all enjoyed this one. I've got more. Like I said, I'll be recording some more of these, try and bring these out to you all for a while, uh, get back into the swing of things, play some battles of my own. Um, I, I'm thinking this week I want to do something a little different with the streams. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to get back into the Warhammer 2 multiplayer on Tuesday. And then Thursday, I want to do something a bit different, jump over to some 40k action. Um, so if, if you don't like Warhammer, this may not be your week on streams, but don't worry, it won't always be this way. Um, I'm going to jump into Battlefleet Gothic 2 and play a little bit of campaign on it um, in the stream on Thursday. I just really like that game. It's got some really cool uh, ship battles. I uh, enjoy it quite a bit, so uh, we'll definitely take a look at that one too. Hope you all are looking forward to it. I know I am. Air of Carthage signing out for now, and I will see you soon.